from beautiful, warm, sunny California, it's the Suzanne Summer Show, and here she is. Yay! She's on oh, fire. No, She's on fire tonight. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh, it's so warm here today. We, we have our mister on for the first time this season. Man, it's amazing. It drops the temperature, what they say, like 20 degrees, Al? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's an great. Amazing thing. And we use yep, we use reclaimed water for our misters. We do. One of the things I loved, I love. Uh, oh, I got him called Patrick Duffy. One of the many many things I loved about Patrick Duffy is he's a handyman. He really is. He knows how to fix pipes in his house and electrical, and he likes all that stuff. And one Monday morning, I came to work. I said, "What did you do this weekend?" He said, "I rerouted my gray water." And I learned that that is you take um, water and repurpose it for things like this, I guess. Yep, anyway, yep. I just want you to know. Okay. There's a surprise inside. Yeah. Today's the day. You were all asking for it yesterday. Today is our surprise box, the Suzanne Selects. So, do you want me to tease you for a while? Do you want to know what's in it? Well, you know what? Why don't we first tell them what the deal is? Because you tell them what the deal is, Johnny. Okay. Okay. So, for those of you who don't know anything about Suzanne Selects, we do a box every month. We've been doing it now, I don't know, two, three years. We never charge more than $39.99. And the value is always more than $120. Today it's $140. So, you're literally getting a $100 discount. Yeah, really? And you're only paying $39.99. And the products inside are fabulous, really fabulous. Uh, two of them are some of our biggest selling products. And the so theme of the show today is April showers, A. We've, we're starting the month of April. And we've got the Mr. On. And But everything today is going to be uh, something you'll probably like to use when you're taking your shower. Would you like to see what's inside? Yeah. There are, people, are, people are clamoring. OK. What's great is we women love presents, and Caroline will tell you uh, how this works. I just like to show you the surprise inside. It's a cute box, but so what, right? But you'll use the box for other things. People have told me. Okay. The first thing that's in here, Alan loves this. Oh, yeah. Acai exfoliating oh, yeah. cleanser yep. or body polish. I use it. Oh, my goodness. I love it on my back uh, because when have the uh, neck and back surgery it left you know a lot of um, you know marks and things that needed to just be gently exfoliated it's so good I put it on my arms and sometimes if I'm lazy and I don't feel like getting out of the shower and go getting my peach exfoliating cleanser for my face I use this on my face it's, it's a little uh, intense for the face but it works for my side I skin. put it on my face <clears throat> and you have thick skin too I have thick skin you know when you're business you gotta have thick skin you're not kidding okay so I'll I'll tell you more about this but acai is A-C-A-I acai but that's not all here you're gonna love body butter oh I love body butter body butter we use it for different things <laughs> body butter is incredible smells great oh wow yeah but what is the what is the retail price of the body butter mm. the body butter is forty five dollars it's just on its own. And it's worth it. It's a huge, it's a huge, huge. Jar. It lasts forever. It lasts a long time. Right. It's and very rich. And we have two different flavors, and uh, it would be a surprise which flavor you get. Yeah. And the April's also on the spot. And then we have the targeted night cream with biomimetic peptides. You don't have any biomimetic peptides, do you? Don't you want smoother skin? Don't you want skin that looks less wrinkled? Well, it supports all of those things. I use this most nights uh, before I go to bed. This is awesome. Violet is a really high end. Uh, it's one of Suzanne's nicest moisturizers, yeah. uh, meaning most expensive. And uh, just the targeted night cream is $59.99. You're so this is $59. That's $49. Yeah. Well, wait a minute, this is 59 and the body butter is 49, did you say? 45. 45. 
Well, we're yeah. already over 100. Yeah. I'll say you bought college is 35, so it's $140 value. Yeah. But if you're a member of Suzanne Selects, you only pay thirty nine ninety nine. Yeah. And then you get in the mail um, your surprise. Also, you if you love your surprise, you can order another one, can't they? So that they can give it to their girlfriend. Yes, we have a lot of people who are saying, I give this to my daughter, I give this, you know, you order and order it for your friend. Or, you know, what some people do is you keep the products that you love and you give the other products as gifts. And yeah, because how are they going to know what was in the box? The value. You're getting $140 for value. And you should save, save the boxes because then you can package you're a up. Hoarder. That's right, a hoarder. You can package up the stuff that you don't want, give it to your friends, okay? Now, take a look at this. This basically tells you, this basically tells you what's in the box, okay? And there's a brief description. The SIE Affoliating Body Polish, Body Butter Targeted Night Cream, okay? But on the back of this document are all the ingredients. Every single thing that's in it. You are going to be so impressed with all these ingredients. You can make your own, just go out and buy all those products and make your own body <laughs> Right. And um, Look at this. that'll be fun. That'll be fun. But we thought maybe you like it. new to Suzanne's products, she, um, all of her products are organic. They're certified toxic free. And the way Suzanne Selects works is you sign up for the subscription. But if you only want one box, you can cancel it immediately. And we make it very easy to cancel or pause. And you decide how frequently you want to get it. If you want to get it every month, every month you'll be charged the $39.99. It will always be something different, and it will always be worth over $120. Um, and if you want to get it every two months, you can do that, or every three months. So your choice up to you. It's the biggest discount we do on all of our products. You know, One of the, our most successful campaigns is yeah. our, is our um, surprise you know, the, box. The, okay. the, uh, I ordered something where they said, you know, call right now and we'll give you your first month free and blah, blah. So I did. And they sent the thing the, f the first month. And uh, then I, I tried it and I didn't like it. And I called and said, okay, cancel, no more. Yeah. And they kept that. sending it. They kept <coughs> yes. sending it. Yeah. And after I got two more uh, packages from these people, I called them and I said, I sent you an email saying I didn't want this anymore. But you didn't but listen. You, you kept, I think this was their deal, okay? Most people probably wouldn't bother. You kept sending it, okay? I want a refund because you dinged my credit card twice when you shouldn't have. I want a refund, okay, on that money, and I don't want any more. So the guy said to me, okay, we're going to give you a 50% discount. I said, you're not listening. I don't want it. It's not. I don't want it. I, I'm not. He said, okay, hang on one second. I have to talk to my supervisor. So he puts me on hold. He didn't talk to his supervisor. He comes back and he said, okay, here's the deal. We can give you 60% off our retail. I said, I don't want it. I don't like it. I don't want it. And he said, well, he said, I mean, why would you pass up a deal? I said, I don't want it. I said, let me tell you something. If I receive one more of these things, I'm calling the Better Business Bureau. Oh. He said, one moment, please. He puts me on hold for like 10 seconds. He comes back. He says, okay, we will refund the, the two symptoms he sent to you, and you won't be getting any more of this, we promise. I said, thank you. you won. So the key is Better Business Bureau. Because of yeah, that but experience, you don't have to go that with us. no, I was getting it. Because of that experience, you will not have that problem no. with us. You can order something right now and decide, yeah, I don't think I want that. Call us back, okay? Right away, you can cancel. Well, and you know, the reason it, a lot of the companies they make it very hard to find a phone number that you can call, and it's very complicated to get into your account and cancel something on your own. I think ours is pretty easy to get into your account, but if you're someone who's technically challenged, we do have someone answering the phone during business hours. The number's right on the website, so we do make it really easy for you. We're not trying to trick you into anything. We know you'll love these products, so that's why we give you a great deal on them, because we think you'll keep buying them. Uh, there are days, uh, my I, I have the privilege of having an assistant. Her name is Julie. Julie's probably watching, and she's great at her job. And... Um, I'm a 1-800 order person. 
That's not what we call you in house. Yeah. We don't call you an order person in house. A 1 800 whore. whore. That's what they call me. Yeah. Because I lie in bed and I go, I like that. I could use that. If they can convince me in that commercial, I need to order it. And then I get it and you go, this isn't like it wasn't a commercial at all. And then Julie has to dip through what you were just saying. Yeah, but I saw, I saw you one night. Uh, yeah, the, <laughs> that guy was selling something for men. That was going to pump up their estrogen, not estrogen, going to pump up their testosterone. Uh -huh. And they showed the guy in the gym working out with the big muscles, and this is this could be you, etc. And I saw you writing it down. And I thought, why is she writing this down? She's not going to order it. And I asked you, why are you writing it down? And you what said, did I say? oh, uh, uh, I, well, I thought, I, I thought, I don't know. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't usually order things for you, frankly. I know. I, I usually, it's very selfish. I order So maybe myself. you wanted to yeah. boost your testosterone yeah. and get yeah. big muscles. Yeah, actually, actually, I love talking about hormones. Um, I'm not absorbing my testosterone sufficiently. Uh, I know you've read all about the three times a day and everything, but um, evidently uh, there's not... Uh, the usual spark there in terms of the ratio. So my doctor said that he thinks it's time for me to start injecting testosterone. I haven't done that yet. That's what I do. Yeah. Well, Tuesday, Tuesday is the day Alan stopped absorbing the cream and the gel. And it does happen after a while. And um, so we have chosen Tuesday to be the day. Testosterone Tuesday. Testosterone Tuesday that I inject him. And then Wednesday is fun. And that's why I gave that interview on a Wednesday. And they asked me about, they always ask me about our sex life. And the reason I talk about our sex life, and I've said this to you before, not to like be obnoxious, because it can be. I talk about it to show the possibilities at 74 and 84 that when you are hormonally balanced and you put everything back in the right ratios, it's quite amazing what happens. And in the upcoming future, we've got some things that are going to make, you know they have, you know, the blue pill for men? Well, um, we've got something down the road that you're gonna really, really, really like. Because that does happen. When we women lose or decline in our sex hormones, estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, DHEA, pregnenolone, but mainly estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, we decline our, in our sex hormones to the degree that you declined, we can't feel sex. And it doesn't seem fair because I've never made anything for women. And then when I started writing about putting yourself back together hormonally, the sex drive came back. But, you know, I guess in the 70s, you got to try a little harder, try a little tenderness. Right, Al? Right. Right. <laughs> well, with you guys are both getting these shots now, we might as well just put some bunny ears on you and just... You're going to become rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We've raised our kids. You're in that phase now, too. You've raised your kids. You've educated them. You haven't married them off yet. But all our big expenses for our kids are over. And um, it's just me and Al in terms of recreation. And we're having a lot of fun together, as you all can pick up when you write me about it. God, sometimes I sit here and look at the cloud for you, you can't see what I'm looking at, but there's a cloud there that looks like a duck. Can you see from my perspective, Alan, it has got a big beak? Yeah. No, he, he says, yeah, that means he didn't even look up. <laughs> but it's, clouds in the desert are just so beautiful. Beautiful. So pretty. Yeah. Hey, Alan, do me a favor. Just tap on Suzanne's face Pardon? on the screen. Oh, okay. I'm tapping on your her, face. Her lighting looks better on Instagram, and I think it's the, the misters in the back sometimes change the lighting. There we are. Don't you want me to look pretty now? You look pretty from this perspective. But, you know, being outside, you know, we're dealing with ambient light. Mm -hmm. Whereas when we're inside, if for the most yeah, part... It's so nice to be outside. Exactly. Yeah. No, it's just for... It's just sometimes the misters grab the light and then the iPhone adjusts the lighting down. Oh. So we could probably I, I 
we turn off them in a while, but now it looks great. You just have to tap on your face every now and then. Yeah, I'll tap on uh, your face. Okay, tap on my face. Yeah. Sure, I think. Yeah, yeah. And also, we could probably turn the misters off soon. What a crazy day. It was uh, 100 degrees, then it went down to like the 70s, and the big rain cloud came over, then that passed over. And then it was uh, in the 80s and 90s, and now another big gray cloud just came over, and then the duck cloud. So, um, anyway. So, I'm so glad you're back home in America, Caroline. Yes, what a fun trip we had, but it, it is always nice to get home. There's nothing like slipping into your own bed. Can you bring me, uh, Caroline, over here? Certainly. He's got you over there. He's um, doing email on Whoops. you. Oh, I could hear a little. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't doing. Put it on the glass, Al. Yeah, pardon? If you would be so kind to put it on the glass, and then we both can hear Caroline. Okay. Yeah. I I just love it when you give me instructions. I love it. Caroline's here, and Caroline Bell is here. Uh, hi. Yeah. The kids are back. Uh, hi. Caroline. Hi, Camelia. Fanny and Dana say hi. Hi, honey. Hi, Caroline. They said hi. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's, it's taking the time here, too. Yeah, that's, uh, that, that's what I taught my family, all of them, the grandchildren, everybody at 5 o'clock. It's time to put down everything and have a tequila with your family. <laughs> so. So Carrie Crystal yeah. wants to know, where is this taped? Oh. Well, Carrie, the reason that I got your message, like minutes after you wrote it, is because we're live. We fly by the seat of our pants here. Yeah, oh, that's right. It's not taped. Yeah, it's not, never but taped. But we, we then record it. Yeah, if you, if you miss something. Right. The archives, yeah, exactly. You can see any of the shows that we Exactly. Done. So thank you for asking. Yeah. Okay. So there's, God, there was a question I wanted to ask you, and it's, it goes by so quickly. Any uh, questions on your end, Caroline? So Michael wants to know where's Bruce. Yeah, he took a nice walk. He, uh, he, um, he walked down the hill. So he'll be back. Bruce is He'll such an athlete. Bruce is such an athlete. Okay, Deborah Tino Wigmore said, Hi, Suzanne and Al. What type of tequila do you drink? Well, we, we really like Casa Dragones, okay? It's expensive. But they have several different levels. They have the, the really high level. And then they have the, the street level. And uh, we actually prefer the street level. It's uh, it, it, the, the I'm price. I'm not a connoisseur. I'm not a connoisseur either, no. but you know. We have all these bottles here. Yeah, we, we don't, we don't own the company. But we, we like the tequila. And you asked the question, so that's what we like to drink. We, do, those, we, we drink other tequilas as well. And for those of you just tuning in, this is our monthly. Uh, Suzanne selects box. This box, if you sign up for the subscription, once a month you get a box for $39. You don't know what's in it, but it's always worth a lot more. Like today, what's in our box today is a hundred, close to $150. $140. Uh, I thought you said $149. It's no, it's a hundred. It's $139.99. That's $140. Okay, $140. Yeah. And. In this box today is acai uh, exfoliating body uh, lotion. I, I used it this morning on my face. Yeah, you did. That's something that is really good for you to do because you get kind of gritty on your face. What do you mean gritty? I don't know. Manly. Oh, manly. Okay, I'm okay with manly. Manly better than gritty. Yeah, I don't like gritty. Yeah, and it's such an interesting thing. Acai. Can you open this, Alan? Certainly. And um, take that top off. Top off. Yeah, let me see okay. if I can read you the ingredients of acai. Okay, here you it's go. It's a natural fruit acid complex. Crushed acai. It's such a pretty color. Yeah, crushed acai berries and jojoba beans. And uh, this exfoliant uh, stimulates cell renewal, renewal uh, to reveal supple, beautiful skin. I, I actually like the way you said supple the first time. Okay. Uh, here, ooh, ooh. It's sort of this green color because it's crushed acai berries. 
and it's got the exfoliating beads in there. And you put it on your face, on your body, and, um, you know, we're supposed to be able to exfoliate naturally, but it doesn't happen especially in the warmer months when you sweat a lot, and the skin dry, and here in the desert our skin dries out so much. Are you getting me a napkin? I am. Oh, I was just going to say we're here. Uh, I don't know where this napkin came from, but take a look at it. <laughs> you look like I need a drink. <laughs> I have no Here, idea. You that Here you go. I'll tell you, Caroline, I sure wish we could find somebody to make us leopard napkins, because I know all my girls out here would love them. I think I bought it. Every she's, looking, she's, she's, she's looking for a towel. Yeah. I think it makes so much tense, uh, sense to have either leopard hand towels and washcloths or black hand towels or washcloths. Because when you take your makeup off on your white towels, even though you wash them, they never come up as white again. They just don't. It's true. Um, Maureen uh, Wild's Turtle said, I love the body polish. I use it before putting the tan on your tanning serum. Yeah. Love it. That's so smart, Maureen. Because if you put tanning serum on dry uh, skin that hasn't been exfoliated, it catches and uh, creates dark patches. So that's very smart. So there's the acai body polish. Awesome. Use it on your whole body, your back. If you take a shower with somebody, lucky you, have them do your back. Um, do your the sides of your arms. You know, you get these little bumps here. Do that. And then the body butter. The body butter is going to be your favorite 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 it's so great look at that this is uh what did you say $49? $45. $45. Just the body butter retail value is $45 just on its own so now this is a scent called this is a scent called rain and we named it that because it smells like a like it does outside after a fresh first spring rain that's what it smells like but the other one is cocoa mango so that's the surprise you won't know which one you and then the um, targeted uh, night cream. Before with, you move on, Suzanne, uh, this body butter is going to last you a very long time. Yeah, yeah. It's incredibly rich and emollient. Suzanne's loaded it with skin nurturing botanical actives. It's organic. It's certified toxic free. There are no chemical fillers in it. So it not only goes on and makes your skin look beautiful and feel beautiful, it actually nourishes and hydrates your skin. It's amazing. And, you can see people all in the comments. They they use it and they love it. Yeah, this, uh, I'll tell you right now, you'll think maybe you'll give this as a gift to someone. You won't. You'll get this home and you'll want it for yourself. If you really want to give it to someone, you'll get another box because this you're going to want for yourself. This is for you. So, you know, one night after I had my shower, before we went to bed, yeah, <clears throat> I rubbed it all over my body. And when I got into bed, you said, did you did you did you rub a, a body butter all over your body? And I said, Yeah, I did. And you said, I wish I had done that. <laughs> and I said, I can accommodate that. <laughs> There's nothing better. Susan Nancy Bouton said, Body butter is the best stuff ever. I love the cocoa mango. I use it every day. I agree with you. And what is better than before you get into bed at night to either take shower or a hot bath um, and then I, I, when I take a hot bath I always put Epsom salt in and I put the uh, coconut body oil that we make which is one of our most superb products but then but we I, should say it's not just coconut oil no it's, got it's broccoli oil, oil it's argan oil or argan, it's broccoli uh, raspberry, raspberry seed, oil. seed oil yeah what else now? <laughs> yeah. said the body butter is my favorite Jacqueline Marino Perez, the body butter is amazing. Yeah. Um, the uh, Christine uh, Rizika, both Coco Mango and Rain smell so good. I love them. So, you know, you have all these people. Some, uh, Suzanne said, I have the peppermint body butter. I love it. Uh, Amy, I love the body butter. So, here you have a $45 product, but you get this entire kit today for $39.99. So, sign up for Suzanne Selects, you can sign up just to get one box, and then you can cancel your subscription, or you can get it every month, every two months, every three months. The deal today is worth $139, but you get it home for 
I wanted to be Vanna White so bad. I would have been good. You would have been good. I would have been good. You know, you would have been, if anybody knows, okay, this played on TV once, yeah. but if anybody knows yeah. where they can get Suzanne's audition to be Weather Girl when she was, I don't think, 20 years old in San Francisco or Oakland, was it Oakland? No, San know. Francisco. San Francisco. At KPIX, Channel 5. Okay. If anyone knows where to get that, let us know, because now, I, I want to. I want to play it. Oh, it's I, hysterical. Oh, I was. I, what was I? Twenty. You're in the year of twenty. Yeah, and I only had one good dress, and I remember at the time Jacqueline Kennedy was um, our first lady. When you she, say when you say dress, it was more like a long T-shirt, I think. But it was a good quality dress. Yeah. And it was from a store called Jacks. J -A -X. Oh, I remember that. And Jacqueline Kennedy made Jacks popular because she would wear these beautiful dresses. The fabric was jersey, but it was their proprietary jersey. And so I saved money I didn't have. I should have been paying the rent because I did stupid things like that. You know, when you're 20 and you have a baby and you're crisis prone anyway, um, I would do stupid things. And I bought myself a Jacks dress, lavender. And because Jacqueline Kennedy had one, and I shortened it myself because I know how to sew. And but it was the '60s. Do you remember all of you who are my age in the '60s when we didn't wear bras and uh, yeah, we're, just, we're mini skirts? Yeah. Often had the panties peeking out. <laughs> well, I wore this Jack's dress to try out for Weather Girl because it was my best dress, and I didn't wear a bra because nobody wore a bra at that time. But I'm 20. And they're looking good at 20 but you don't know it you just think they are what they are and i had the pointer thing and i'm going it's going to be cold here but uh, <laughs> not so cold up there at all at all and uh, they should have hired you I, I didn't get the job ratings through the roof they don't <laughs> Actually, get it in retrospect oh yeah to have this dumb oh yeah i was really the dumb blonde oh, yeah. weather that, girl. oh that would have been the biggest I know. rated show they had on <laughs> their station i know I know. Anyway. Hey, Joy Halbrook Lopez says, I've contemplated ordering this kit for some time. I'm pulling the trigger today. Hey. I've searched around at no subscription box with such wonderful ingredients as products like yours. Thank you. You're going to love it. I, I don't like to tell people what they're going to experience, but you are. You're going to love it. The third, third object in this, sometimes we have more than three, but it's all about pricing. I, so... We decided that the acai is what, Caroline? Give me the prices. I don't remember numbers. The is a $45 value okay. on its own. The, oh, sorry, the acai body polish is a $35 value. $35. The body butter is a $45, 45. retail value. And the, the targeted night cream is a $60 retail value. And you get all of these home today for $39.99. The reason this is so expensive is uh, it has biomimetic peptides in there. Uh, it's like a buzz for your wrinkles, for for a stronger, more beautiful skin. This put on at night and just enjoy the results of this. So you've got a close to $140 worth of product here, and it's going to come in this box for $39, and it's a subscription. And if you sign up for the subscription. Every month, a box will come with something completely different, and you'll watch the shows, and we'll tell you what's in it. If you get it and you don't like it, send it back. We're not like a, you know, militant subscription service. Um, actually, this this is you can't return the box. You can't return the box. You Who would have said there that? Are no returns because the discount is so severe. Oh, right. that there aren't any returns on this, but you can cancel Stupid it at any time, or you can pause your subscription at any Right. Time. Okay. She's right. You cannot. Who would have said something that was so stupid? You're gonna get. It. You're gonna get. Return the box. Well, you're gonna get it after the show. I know. Oh. I know. I know. Oh boy, what an evening it's gonna be. I, well, it is. I'm making you black truffle mushroom risotto. Oh, that's gonna be a great. Evening. Yeah. Yeah. Alan, don't forget to video it because our friends over in Italy at Carini, which is where we ordered the truffles for Suzanne. They want to see what she makes with it because oh. we were telling them what a great cook she is. Okay. All okay. right. I've already sauteed the shallots in butter and olive oil. 
and I saute the um, uh, really finely chopped on uh, mushrooms. And so I've got that base going. When I go down, I'm going to add the rice and stir that around. And then when it gets hot, I'm going to pour in the white wine and cook up all the alcohol. Then I'm going to put in the um, broth that I made fresh from my roast chicken. And then uh, just keep adding broth and a little more butter and more broth and more butter. And then I'm going to start slicing truffles into it. That would kind of be good. And then at the end, more truffles with Parmesan cheese. Oh, mm. If you haven't tasted black truffles, and those of us who live in America don't have the opportunity to have them very often, but Bruce and Caroline were just in uh, uh, Italy, and in, in the Tuscan area, which is where they all come from, and oh my gosh, the first time I ever tried them it was there. They have black truffle, truffles and white truffles. The white seemed to be the most prized truffle, but I love the black truffle because of the balls it gives to flavor and sauce. So uh, you're going to like this tonight, Alex. Breaking news, yeah. breaking so news, good. breaking news, yeah. okay? Yeah. Mary Monroe said Suzanne Summers audition Weatherman tape and then there's a link no, okay no. now Mary. what happens if I push that thing now will it no don't push it don't, don't, push it. don't. Caroline can you yeah. get, uh, you know what to have Camelia look for it I'll, the, I'll see if it's working but Camelia if it's can do the, that if, if it's in the comments um Oh, I'd love everyone, to see it. Everyone should be able to see it, so I'm trying to find that. One night, many, 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 many years ago, I was a regular on The Tonight Show. Lucky me. Lucky me. What um, a boom to my career. Wow. So I was on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, who discovered me many, 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 many times. And we're going to get that piece of tape for you. What happened to it, Alan? Your audition? Yeah, no. The Johnny Carson, Take Back Your Me. I think it's being worked on. Oh, Sam, if you're watching, we really want to post that. Um, you guys, you don't need to take the commercials out. It's so much fun to watch commercials. Okay, let's leave them in. Okay, you're right. Let's leave them in. Leave the commercials in. All right. So, so then, all we need is okay. that. Linda Brandenburg just said, you won't believe this. I just got my first bottle of the acai exfoliating body polish. Listening to you while I rub this on, and <laughs> in the shower, and massaged it, and rinsed. Oh. Gee, my skin feels like silk. <laughs> all those rough winter cells down the drain. A plus vote for me. What's her first name? Linda. <laughs> Linda, did you know we all take a shower with you tonight? <laughs> That's pretty amazing, like on the spot. All right, so tomorrow, Alan, you can uh, post the Take Back Your Mink Johnny Carson interview. We will certainly try. Okay. No, you have it. With the commercials, you have it. No, I have the whole show. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh. So now, how do I, uh, Caroline? Are you looking at uh, Mary Monroe, who's uh, Mar 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 she's Marilyn Monroe's half sister? Pardon me. <laughs> I, I haven't been able to see it yet. Oh well, it's. I haven't, I haven't found it. It went by some time oh, ago. PC. Yeah, that's it. Well, after Johnny Carson left the Tonight Show, then he started having Jay Leno. Uh, do that spot. And so David night, many, David many Letterman. Ago, what? I think David Letterman, too. So one night, many, many years ago, I was on with Jay, and uh, who I have to tell you what a man she is, what a nice guy. Um, and he's asking me about, you know, did you ever think, and did you know that you'd be on the number one show, and did you know you'd write those books, and you know you'd be a headliner in Vegas and all that. He said, what did you initially you want to do when you started out and I said well to tell you the truth what I really would have been just so pleased with I wanted to be the weather girl because when you were the weather girl back then you got paid three hundred dollars a week and I had my little boy who is now Caroline's husband that would have like made my life so much easier I would have had enough for the rent I would have had enough for the food I would have, I would have had enough money and he said, you want to be the weather girl? I said, where'd you, where'd you uh, audition? I said, well, I auditioned at KPIX TV in San Francisco, Channel 5, but I didn't get the job. And he said, I think um, we have your audition. I went, what? He showed the audition, and I'd never seen it to that point. It's, it's funny, because I am <laughs> as stupid as stupid can be. <laughs> I'd love to see it. 
that, and I also want you all to see the the Johnny Carson. Because by the yeah, time that's, the, tape, that's great the Johnny Carson tape that I want you to see, I was so surprised because I heard myself when I was watching it saying, "Well, I've been doing your show now, Johnny, for 12 years. Imagine the good fortune of showing up usually every month for 12 years, and that went on after that. That wasn't the last time. And he was so uh, good to me." And um, I really want you to see it. I gave you a whole spiel last week, and then we haven't aired it yet. So sorry about that. Anyway, you know, I'm I I'm 74 years old. I say that because I look over the life I've had. Uh, all I ever wanted was to be married to you, Alan. And to be a weather girl. But all I ever really wanted was to be married to you. And you got your dream. I did. Yeah. Well, you made me wait ten years, but nine years. I. But it was um, a fun nine years. I, what I what I didn't know. We were rehearsing. And what I realized was that I have a lot of talent. I didn't know that. You don't know anything about yourself. It's just that anything I tried to do, I always knew how to do it. Anything, anything. And I think of the people that I've been able to work with. I'm the last person to ever work with John Wayne. Imagine. Uh, I got I got discovered by Johnny Carson. I worked with Sammy Davis Jr. I worked with Frank Sinatra. I worked with John Ritter. John Ritter, one of the greats. He was uh, just incredibly, incredibly Elton John. Talented. Elton John, Barry Manilow. Actually, you know the show that you did with Elton John uh -huh. was a Disney special, and they brought back the uh, illustrators uh, who drew. They used to draw it by hand. This is before commercials. And all those animated characters, every single frame, and I think 22 One frames picture. to the second or something like that, every single frame was drawn by hand. It was a picture, okay? And they brought those guys back. Um, did you put the phone in your pocket or something? I can't yeah. hear anymore. Um, oh. He's so... Oh, sorry about that. The older he gets, the more, like the absent <laughs> <laughs> Did you all wonder what happened to Caroline? He was in, she was in Alan's pocket. So, so could Thank you, you Caroline. So could you hear anything, Caroline? It's a good thing I have a big skin, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Could you yeah. hear, <laughs> Caroline? Could you hear anything? <laughs> like a baby in his mother's stomach. It was, <laughs> it was in my, it was in my back pocket. Back I just, pocket. Not even the front pocket when well, no. he had a shot at being heard. In the back pocket. No, but the back pocket talks. He is. He is. <laughs> Let's act like he's not here. He has a tendency to be absent-minded. No, no, I was thinking about something no, else. No, you do absent-minded. Now they're coming to arrest both of us. Who's that? Yeah, they're coming. They're, I, they're already w waving cufflinks. I saw an ambulance over there. You know, uh, Palm Springs, we call it the gay 90s. You either have to be gay or 90 to live here. And over there, a lot of older people live there, and so often during these shows, I'm sitting here and I see ambulances going over there. <laughs> oh, the thigh master. You know, my physical therapist loves the thigh master to get my legs working again. Okay, you can put it away now, but That's wild, huh? Ah. Uh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. So, Carol Leone um, joined us late, and she's asking if you could tell us. You just do a quick recap of what is in the stand selects. Well, every month, for $39, you will get your surprise inside stand selects box. See, I could have been a prize model, see? And in this, it's always different every month. It's 39 bucks, but today's offering, what we're putting in there, is a value of... $140. The acai, which I think, I cannot remember numbers. So you'll help me, Caroline. The acai, which is... The acai body polish is $35. 35. Value. Okay. Then the body butter is $45. I remember that. Yes. Okay. And then the targeted uh, uh, night cream with biomimetic peptides. Peptides are expensive. Is a, did you say $65? $60. $60. That's your $140, but you, today, if you order now, you can get it for $39. Bucks. The fun thing is, I the way this happened, I remember saying to Alan, when I first started on Three's Company, 
there were no catalogs. Remember when there were no catalogs other than the Sears and Roebuck catalog? And Hamburger Schlimmer. And Hamburger Schlimmer. But there weren't all these catalogs that come in. There certainly was no internet. There was no online anything. And um, I got my first catalog from Tiffany's. And everything that you ordered from Tiffany's came in that little blue box, which was just so blue. Tiffany blue. And I would order stuff I did not need, mainly because I liked the idea that in the mail, I would get a present. I paid for it myself, but I'd get a present. And that's what we thought about with the Suzanne Selects. Isn't it fun? Those of you who have been subscribing to this for a long time, that up in the, in the box, uh, in the mail comes this box with a surprise inside. In fact, we were out the other night with a friend of mine. Her husband makes a lot, 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 a lot of money. And I have her on this as a as a friend. I put her on this, and every month, what is that? I don't know. Sounds like a drone. Anyway, um, I had forgotten I'd signed her up for this, and she gets it every month. And, uh, last week we were having dinner, and she said, I love when my surprise box comes. And I had to think about what surprise box. Now, here's this woman with a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money, loving getting a surprise because we all love a surprise and we all love a present. And so that's what you can order for yourself. Tell them though, Caroline, they sign up for the subscription, they buy it one time, and then the next month they decide they can't afford it, they don't want it. Well, they either, they order it to come every month, every two months, and I think maybe even okay. every three months. And then one, they can change that anytime or they can cancel. Okay. Yeah. That's true. Wow. You, can change, you can pause it, you can change it, or let's say you're getting it every two months and you see Suzanne on and you say, oh my gosh, I have to have this box because why would you want this box? And you say, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to squeak in and, and add this one. You just go into your subscription and say, send me the box this month. So we try to make it really flexible and easy for you. And we do have a live um, person that you can speak to during business hours, a customer service you guys all tell us they do a great job. So there's always someone to call to, which is nice. So uh, I just have to tell you. What? Linda, Be Linda Beaver is watching, okay? Why is that funny now? Well, <laughs> well Sorry, first of all, Linda. the beaver. Linda, I love you. The, the beaver is the national a a animal of Canada. I know that. Okay? Hardworking, creative. Create. <laughs> well, <laughs> little dams. That's kind of uh, kind of why I'm laughing. Yeah. Do you know the beavers are the only truly altruistic animal in the animal kingdom? They built the dam, and it's for everyone's benefit. It doesn't do any benefit for them, but it's it's a great benefit for the entire ecosystem. Yeah, I I, I, I love that word altruistic. Yeah. altruistic. I I can remember spending. I love that word and I love mitigate. What? I remember spending most, actually all of one afternoon, sitting by the side of a river in Muskoka. Muskoka is an area about 100 miles north of they Toronto. They used to take me on vacation there. That's some, right. Some boyfriends take their girlfriends to Europe, <laughs> to Paris, to London. He took me to Muskoka. <laughs> and I can remember sitting on the I river. Like it, though, the I way. know. That little cabin. And I watched... Uh, Two beavers going back and forth and building a dam. Yeah, you a little, that one day. A little house for them. Yeah. It's I, cute. I used to have, in fact, up in our, um, the hallway of our bedroom, I have a set of books that my mother bought. You know how when book salesmen would, uh, salesmen, the salesmen would come? Does this have anything to do with beavers? Uh -huh, oh, the front okay. door. Knock on your front door and yeah. the woman of the house, my mother, would open the door for a stranger. Yeah. <laughs> Things that don't happen day and um, whatever he said intrigued her and she invited him in the stranger man was he trying to sell her a beaver no a, okay. a set of books called my book house and I have them all in the hallway there I have read every single my book house book many many times and what and, and what is the one about the beaver called it was the story about the beaver and the story took you inside the beaver's dam, and now it's not wet anymore. Because when you're in a book, you can make whatever you want, right? Also, they have their babies in there. And you go in, in the book, and it's got little furniture. It's 
little uh, <laughs> sign on the wall that says home sweet home uh -huh. there's a little kitchen over here uh -huh. and I go in, in my mind's eye, into the little beaver home in my bookhouse book and lived a whole world. That's the power of, of, of these books. And I've saved these all my life. And when my mother passed, uh, I asked my brother and sister, because I'm the one who really loved these books so much, and they both agreed that I could take them. And, and one night, I want to sit in bed and read you my bookhouse stories, okay, Alan? Because they're right down the hall from us. You like them? Okay. I'll take you into the beaver house. Okay, read me the beaver story. Okay, I will. It's, okay. it's really fun. <laughs> yeah. It was, the couch, it was the little couch and the little sign above it that said, Home Sweet Home. Great. I've never, I've never heard a good beaver story. I You're mean, so trying to be a nasty boy. No, I'm not. Yeah, no. Yeah, isn't no. he, Caroline? He's, hit, he's going around there, isn't he? <laughs> I'll tell you, the beaver See? only has one enemy. And who's that? Man. Why? That's what we record. They business. want his fur. Oh, yeah. oh. The only person who hunts beaver oh. is man. Oh. Yeah, oh. and they have a nice tail, too. I wonder if they use the tail for anything. Beaver tail. I don't think so. I think it's just the fur. Well, that's sad. But it's amazing. You see them swimming through the water. Can they have a ice in my boat? Sure, they have a twig in their mouth, and all you see is their head yeah. cutting through the water. Well, because they got to get into their little house with a little couch. In Muskoka. And the little home sweet home sign. See, if I hadn't take you to, taken you to Muskoka, we wouldn't be having this conversation. You know those trips used to take me to Canada yeah. with you? I yeah. love them. I know. I have never been anywhere. The only place I had ever been was New York once. Yeah. I, after I got a divorce, so what was I, um, 20 or 21, I don't know, and I felt pretty bad about myself. I was the first person I ever knew who got a divorce, first person in my family, first person in my hometown. I felt pretty bad about myself. I'd never seen anything, but I just had to see the world, and I, I just knew I had to branch out, so I saved the money I didn't have, because usually all the money I had was supposed to be paid for that's why when I did a show called Three's Company about we never had the money for the rent, I so uh, related. And um, I, I knew Alan Hamill at that time. Now I was in love with him. Uh, and he, I was going, I saved money to fly to New York. And I said, where shall I stay? And he said, you should stay at the plaza. And I said, I can't really afford the plaza. And you set me up with your friend who was the concierge there who got me a really, 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 really discounted room. And I swear the room was not much bigger than this bar. It had a twin bed in it and kind of a gray room. I was so thrilled to be staying at the plaza. Oh, I, I have to tell you, the, the, the man I set you up with, I'm not going to mention his name, uh -huh. but I used to live... Can <coughs> I have me. my ice water? Certainly. Oh, oh your oh, ice? Did you put... Oh, I put the wrong stuff in your I glass. Don't drink brown alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> have, hang on. Minded. Hang on. Okay. I'm going to have this. Thanks. Anyway, I called my friend at the plaza because I, I lived there. Little dove over there. Oh, sweet. Oh, by the way. Oh, I wish I could take you down here in the chandelier. The mother's been sitting on her little eggs. Guess what? We had a baby today. Yeah, we did. A little baby. Oh. A little baby birdie is like looking out like that. You know how you can tell when the, when the mother's given birth? They don't leave the nest because all the poop drops on the floor uh, below them. And there's poop all over the floor. And I went, oh, and we looked up and there it was. Thank you. You, you know, the, the Gypsy Rose... Yes, Mary, Mary Ann Laskin McBride said, hey, it's new box time. My favorite time of the month. <laughs> <laughs> Better than the other favorite time of the month. <laughs> yeah. That's so great. Wow. You know, when you're my age, you, you haven't had a period in a long, 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 long time. You know, I was, I, honest to God, I was just thinking about your period, okay? Yeah, I've been, And I was just years, thinking, huh? if you still had your period, you could set it up so the box would arrive the day you started your period. Oh, wouldn't that be great? Yeah. That'd be so great. Yeah, it would be yeah. great, okay? Gosh, I wish that we could have figured that out. Well, you know, it was either, either the box or, you know, who knows, you know, I mean... I, I'm not going to get into it, okay? I write about, um, in, in my hormone books, that we naturally stop menstruating because we lose our sex hormones. But when you start uh, 
When you put them back in the right ratio, uh, and you don't, there are two uh, long, complicated things. There are two ways to take hormones: continuous combined, meaning same amount of estrogen every day and same amount of progesterone. I'm not a doctor, but that's the same scenario that we create when we are pregnant. We make estrogen and progesterone. Nature meant for us to be pregnant a few times in our lifetime, but not continuously. But that's why it's called continuous. Combined. Interesting, isn't it? But the way the alternative doctors who are uh, uh, administering natural bioidentical hormone replacement for you and for me, uh, we take estrogen every day of the month in a rhythm, and then 15 days a month, only 15, not every day, we take progesterone to mimic nature. And at the end of that time, if you still have a uterus, uh, and a lot of women at this point don't, um, <laughs> uh, you get a period. So I thought you'd find that interesting. What is it got? I, I just got the blink for the weather girl thing. Oh, yeah? So I, I posted it. If you if you see the post, it's, I posted it from Suzanne, and it's at 6 minutes and 54-ish seconds. But you are in a yellow jacket. Was the dress under that jacket? Thing? Is is you this is this on the Jay Leno show showing the clip, or is this me? Or is it David Letterman? It's either it's it's a compilation of a bunch of famous people doing weather, and huh. it looks like something that was on 60 Minutes that was that they did a compilation of. You have your big gorgeous long mane of hair, and you have, it looks like a yellowish jacket. Like oh, I have to look at that. I don't know. So this was obviously a, a a video of the video. I have to look at it to see what that was. I usually remember what I remember. I'll send it to you on your phone. Please okay. Do. Please okay. Do. Please do. Well, that sort of blows the whole Jack story. That's yeah. right. Well, the Jack the Jack story was a good story. Well, I wore it for something where I had uh, no bra on. I, I thought it was the weather girl. Well, you, everything you auditioned for, you didn't have a bra on because you didn't have a bra. I owned a bra, but I had very few clothes. Oh. Did Jax you make recall? bras? One night, when I first started dating Alan Hamill, he's from Hollywood, and he's a big Canadian TV star, and he's coming up to San Francisco, and I, I, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, like a small town girl and I don't have clothes and I went out and I had re I I think that I have really good taste you do but I sure missed on this one I thought that he would like me to look like what I thought those girls in Hollywood look like so I went out and bought a white cowgirl outfit oh right, <laughs> that's, right. Cowgirl outfit. that's right I didn't wear the hat I forgot but about I wore that <laughs> cow yeah. cowboy shirt you could see through the white satin cowboy pants. <laughs> and I thought, now he'll think I'm as cool as the LA girls. <laughs> Don't you wish we had video from those days? Well, clearly we have a little bit here and there. Yeah. The next generation, my grandchildren, every moment of their life, this bird's going nuts. You know, that's... You know why he's up there on, on that Oh, nest. he's building a nest right up on or top of that light. Wife. Or maybe he's the husband of the, the baby that's just been born. That could be. Food. You know, every year they occupy the That's next so generation sweet. occupy the same nest in a so chandelier. Uh, it's great. I think that must be one of the babies. You think? Not the most recent little yeah. baby, yeah. but probably earlier. I we, noticed outside so my my uh, porch, outside my uh, dressing room. We had actually we had. I have little nests up didn't there. Didn't we I'm have not, like two families last year? Yeah. You get, those of you who have birds' nests on your property, you're so attached to them. The bird is right behind your head. He's going nuts. The bird is right behind on your head. On the or? No, on the rock, in the rocks. Aww. Oh, oh yeah, that's a baby. You had a lizard behind your head earlier, and everyone was talking about the lizard. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dog, like, literally. There's so a little dove. She's talking about me. That's my cue. Yeah, and it's a, it's a little baby. Like, it's a, yeah, it's a junior for sure. Yeah, for sure. You know, they're very friendly and they know that we're not going to hurt them, so they. Like our sheep. That's right. They're very aggressive. Not aggressive, 
but they were very friendly. Yeah, like he's been dive bombing us here. Yeah. Our, our big, 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 a chance to enjoy their their weekend. Um, so I believe we're back on Tuesday, but you know we'll post it. I would like to say Tuesday. something about tomorrow, which is Good Friday, and we never go political or religious here, but um, there's so much uh, religious religiosity is that a word at this time of the year with all the religions, all the cultures. And uh, my, what I'm going to do tomorrow, from noon until 3, is I'm going to pray for the world, because I believe the world could use prayer. Prayer is thought, and thought creates. And you can use your thoughts to create beauty, and love, and happiness, and peace. So have a wonderful, wonderful holiday weekend. And I love you all. I love that you come to our shows, and I hope you enjoy your supplies. Oh, the birds just sat on a nest. Making a nest bird. like... Oh, that's what it was all about. That bird was going crazy. He's like four feet and away. You, before we sign out... Done the piece. Done the piece. Look at this. Let me try. If, let's this see, is, see if I can get him. He just flew up there. Do you see up there? That's his tail sticking up, and he sat... That's why he's been going so nuts here. There he is. is. There she is. Oh, happy Easter, baby, Dove of Peace. <laughs> uh, and what a beautiful way to end the show. I wish you peace. So sweet. I oh, wish you love. That's so sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Aww. Thank you.